Hi, my name is Gina Tirano, and you're probably thinking, who? I used to be on Airline, and it was a reality show based on Southwest Airlines, and it premiered on A&E. I was on season two and three. There was something about the airline industry and the drama that goes on at the airport or on board the aircraft that you all were so into. And that happened to us on a daily basis. So basically what they did when they, just to give you a little background if you're not familiar with the show, they put a microphone on me. Whenever they heard something was going on or there was, you know, happy passenger, disgruntled passenger, a plane coming back to the gate, weather, unaccompanied minors, anything like that, they would just start filming. It was such a very humble yet stressful job. Um, it was my dream job and I wanted to get my foot in the door when I was younger. So I got hired at 18 years old as a ticket agent checking you in when you got to the airport at the ticket counter or being at the gate giving you those plastic boarding passes that you all remember. Um, the boarding cards and you just hand it to the operations agent as you're going on board the aircraft. Southwest upgraded since then, but that was my job. And then when I was um, 20, um, I went in flight for in-flight training and you all saw that on the episodes. And that was the most stressful time of my life. You had to study, study, study. Um, people's perspectives are for flight attendants that they go uh, to training for five to six weeks and they don't know what we do. They think that we're getting trained on how to serve drinks or how to serve snacks and that is absolutely not true. We worked, I think, not even an afternoon on service. Everything else was safety, medical emergencies. They taught us everything that we need to know. And I'm, I'm, I'm talking about everything. I was taught how to deliver a baby. One tip I will give you. If you are traveling in the summer, take an early flight. Take an early morning flight because usually there are no thunderstorms in the morning. As a flight attendant looking back, I have the opportunity to travel the world. Um, at that point, we were still domestic, so we didn't go outside of the United States, but that was fine with me. Um, I loved, as a flight attendant, I loved the, you could do up to six legs a day, so that's six takeoffs and landings. Um, is the most per our contract that we could do in one day. So my favorite, a lot of flight attendants like the long flights, the five hour flights, four hour flights. Me, I'm go, go, go. So I loved when we had six flights a day, you know, an hour flight. Get the service out, greet the customers, board them next, and just keep going. So it was it was a phenomenal experience, and um, I guess one of the hardest decisions that I had to make after I, you know, got married, and um, uh, my husband was only seeing me three days a week, if that, because once you're on the airplane, you're gone. I was on three or four, three to four night trips, so once I left base, once I left Baltimore. I was gone for those three or four days. Um, so many flight attendants have families and my hat goes off to them that they can still work for the airline industry. Um, however, if my situation is different than, you know, another, you know, uh, average person. Um, I had some personal issues that I had to face and, and try and overcome and that was another reason why that I decided to leave Southwest and also I wanted to start a family within the next, you know, one or two years after my husband and I got married. So I wanted to be visible for that um, and, and visible for my children as well. So um, in 2010, um, in June of 2010, I decided to um, quit Southwest Airlines. Uh, basically, it was it was one of the hardest decisions of my life. Um, I grew up in aviation. Uh, my grandfather worked for Boeing and my uncle works for Boeing as well. So um, I think that was instilled in my blood since I was little because um, I always had a 
um, connection with aviation, with airlines, um, and I remember the first time I flew as an unaccompanied minor. I flew on Southwest Airlines and the flight crew was absolutely amazing and um, I think I was, I want to say eight or nine, um, but after that I always said I will be a flight attendant for Southwest Airlines, I will be a flight attendant for Southwest Airlines and I'm still getting correspondence to see, hey Gina, where are you? I did change my name so I'm no longer Gina Tirano. Um, it was funny because I got married and my husband is not Italian or Sicilian or anything. So I said, okay, fine, I'll take your Craig last name, but our firstborn child will have an Italian name. So Gianna is my our firstborn. And let me tell you, she has blonde hair, blue eyes, and very fair. She is probably doesn't look one set of Italian or or Sicilian whatsoever. And then on the other hand, my son, when you see him, you'll 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 see the difference. We named him Cole after my um, mother-in-law's maiden name. And he is my Sicilian boy. He is dark, he has dark eyes, he has dark hair, he's dark skinned. So it's just funny like how we, you know, I said, oh, our firstborn's going to be named an Italian name, and then my second is the one that looks like me, and my first is the one that looks like my whole husband's side of the family. So, um, you will definitely get to meet them um, in the future on these videos, um, and you'll get to meet my wonderful husband that's been amazing um, through the years and has, has been my rock. Um, through all this because like I said, leaving Southwest was really, really devastating for me. Um, but like I said, I wouldn't be where I am now if, if that didn't happen and I'm happy and I'm healthy. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful summer. I look forward to um, getting some feedback, getting some emails um, and just having to hear from my fans again. Um, you've been missed. Um, again, thank you so much for all your loyalty um, and, and reaching out and stuff. And I just wanted to check in with everyone. We will see you soon. Thank you.